I just wanted to do a quick update about uh, calibrating the camera. After my last video, a subscriber sent me a link to a video for another um, similar machine of how they calibrate the camera. And instead of doing it the way I tried it, the way Lightburn recommends you do it on the pad, what they did is they took this uh, 5x7 printout, which is the same one I tried originally, and they just held it in air in the approximate positions and just adjusted it until you got a good uh, shot of it. And all of my shots, it took less than 10 minutes this time, and all of my shots were under point under 0.5, so, you know, everything was good, 0.5, I think. So here it is. I'm going to just, uh, you know, check it out. So I threw a piece of, little piece of birch plywood on there with a paw print on it, a tiny one. And I'm just going to, you know, see how this aligns to the actual part itself. So I'm just going to draw a little circle and try to get it fairly centered there. Not perfect, but, um, you know, it's, it's pretty close, you can see. And I'll fiddle with it a little bit there. And that's uh, the part laying on the bed, actually. And this is the circle that I'm going to try to put over it. So, what I got to do now is go back and set that to output. I forgot to set that color to output. And then I'm going to start the laser. And by the time I got over to it with the camera, it was done. It just did it so fast. But there's what I wound up with. Um, I'm still approximately 0.03 off the actual location, but that's really good for, you know, just being around a 0.5 on the calibration. I may try it again, but, you know, that looks really good to me. So that's a, you know, that's a real important part of this machine. Now, one thing that the camera does is it allows you to duplicate artworks. So let's say your child has a face they draw and they want to make a sign out of it or a button out of it or something. So you just have them draw it on a piece of paper and then just set it down in the um, on the bed there on the honeycomb. I found this works best when you use a piece of white paper to draw it on. Then you just update the uh, camera in Lightburn and there it is. And it takes you two seconds to go in there and actually trace it so you can duplicate it. Now I I box in the area that I want to do because sometimes you come out with strange things if you don't. And you can see there's these little sliders there that allow you to adjust, you know, the, the type of uh, image and clean it up and stuff. But I pretty much find that, you know, for stuff like this, just uh, use that sketch trace there. And that does a pretty good job at it really quick without messing. So let's just... Uh, show you what we got so there it is there's the uh, actual sketch that i just copied so this is what we're going to burn onto another piece and you know it could be a sign you could put a cutout around it make a button or anything else but you, know, you can see how easy it is to just uh you know copy something so then i'm just going to go in and i'm going to turn this into an engraving here i'm just going to throw a couple numbers in there to to set that up and get that ready to go then what I am going to do is go over to the laser just pick the drawing out and drop the piece of wood in that I actually want to put it on and you can adjust the image to fit any size piece you want I'm just showing you with this and then update the camera and there's a piece I just dropped in the laser and now you can just move this around and put it where you want on the sign. You can add text. You can do what you want. And it's pretty, you can see, see it's pretty simple now that the camera is working right. Nice and square and everything else. So then I'm going to change this over to a fill for this one. And oh yeah, i got to remember to focus it too. 3 millimeter material thickness, so I go down to 14. And before I run this stuff, I always do a preview of it. You can just play it. And you can see I left the outline in, and I forgot to take it out. So before I run it, I'm going to take out that box that I drew to isolate the area. So I'll go back and just ungroup it, delete that, and then send it to the laser. So now I did remember to focus it, and everything's ready to go. So... 
just take you, you know, it takes about five minutes to get the whole copy done from the time you start tracing it. And there you can see my original Van Gogh artwork there. And the results on the laser. So it's really a great feature that, you know, the, the laser actually has and that the camera really uh, helps you. Having the camera calibrated right lets you use it. And there you can see, you know, two minute artwork. Maybe I can get about half a million for that, I don't know. But anyhow, I just wanted to, um, you know, do a quick update because I did have problems with calibrating the camera. And I will put a link to the video I want you to watch, you know, before you start calibrating this. And it shows you exactly how to do it. And it just takes 10 minutes to calibrate after that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.